Hi, it's Nancy Funchbaugh, and I'm reading from the second book in the MAM series, Revelation at the Labyrinth. That night, Molly couldn't sleep. The plight of the earth weighed heavy on her psyche, but somehow the labyrinth walk lifted her spirits. When her menopausal symptoms woke her at 3 a.m., she couldn't get back to sleep and decided to get up. There were only a few weeks of summer left when the tomatoes ripened and the stars aligned to call for the creation of gazpacho. She wanted to make it earlier in the week, but hadn't found the time. Now she decided to utilize the pause. The man coined the term the pause to refer to that time in the middle of the night when menopausal women tend to wake up and can't go back to sleep. Although generally very irritating, sometimes Molly knew interruptions became blessings. They credited the pause for their past adventure of the archeological expedition in search of Thecla. Catherine wrote to Ursula Goodtree, during the pause. Although getting up during the pause would make Molly sleepy at work the next day, sometimes she got up anyway. Now as Molly pulled out her original Moosewood cookbook to find the recipe, she wished for discovery and answers. In the meantime, she chop and combine gifts of earth and then go back to bed. She poured her organic tomato juice into the soup bowl. She peeled cucumbers, sliced them in half, and cut them into long spears before chopping them up into little squares. Her mind turned over the components of hope that had camped out in her thoughts for many years. There's got to be a way to do this life differently, she told herself. Once again, she remembered the company from Michigan, Cascade Engineering, who spoke in town a couple years back. They called themselves a triple bottom line venture. Like other ventures, they focused on making profit, but they also called, included people and the planet in their bottom line the three Ps, they called it. So no business decisions were made that would negatively impact the environment or their employees or the people of their community and of the earth. Ever since that time, she moved this very different sort of business model over in her thoughts, believing the approach could forge a new pattern for the future. She wished she could figure out how to do that here in River City to put people back to work. While her hands chopped, her thoughts reviewed the books they had read. She tried to remember the words of Thomas Berry, that Catholic prophet and priest. Jane had brought his book to the Mams. Hadn't he talked about entering a time of the third mediation, the Echozoic Age? Didn't he say, we must find the philosophy, the strategies, the beliefs too? Molly interrupted her soup making, hunted for her tablet, and sat down in the living room to read his words again. We need not a human answer to an earth problem, but an earth answer to an earth problem. The earth will solve its problems, and possibly our own, if we will let the earth function in its own ways. We need only to listen to what the earth is telling us.